Hello guys and welcome back to another M Crater lore video. So today what we're going to be working on is adding the uh, basalt uh, stone variants. So we're going to be adding a bunch of the blocks. We made the textures last episode or last week. So I wanted to go ahead and create the, bl the actual blocks today and get that all set up. We have one more um, texturing episode for a stone variant and then we have another block making tutorial after this particular one and then we'll be moving on to probably a crafting station for all these new blocks so we'll probably be making it from the ground up uh, based on the tool crafting uh, station uh, we'll be doing something similar to that but um, a little bit different with the mechanics so we'll be doing our best with um, making as many recipes as possible for that uh, particular one but um, I want to make sure that uh, we have all the blocks available for us when we do start crafting it up so it's a lot easier for me to put all that together and stuff now uh, with that being said I'm just going over the generation settings and making sure that this is all set up for the marble and that the marble will generate in our custom dimension uh, specifically our custom dimension so I have a t biome tag with all the biomes in it which I can easily um, compile into one thing so it will all generate in those particular biomes and then I'm just setting the um, the the amount per chunks and then the actual ores in the group now I ended up coming back and changing that uh, those couple values towards the end of the episode just to after I tested a whole bunch of stuff out but um, the general consensus of where I'm going to be putting the ores is marble is going to be more around uh, level uh, 32 to I would say uh, 64 and I think I went with 64 so negative or no uh, marble is going to be from 0 to 64 I think I, I did maybe uh, I can't remember what uh, yeah I went with 64 because then that would give me additional um, 64 to go with the slate which I want to use for the higher one basalt should be under 0 and uh, negative 1 to negative 64 and then marble and then finally slate will be at the top there so basically I was just setting up the generation properties for both of these particular blocks so they're all set up and I could start working on the alternative versions so the first thing that I needed to do was set up the stairs for the base basalt and basically I'm just copying over the settings from the marble stairs so I get an idea of what it uh, looks like so basically setting those properties up and then I need to make sure that it was all set up for the other properties I don't want it to generate so I basically disabled the generation for this one for stairs and then I went with the slabs I'm pretty sure the slabs were the same one but I needed to confirm that for sure and then I could basically set up all the properties and I just needed to give it a name and make sure all the properties are right and correct and then I could go over to here and just make sure that the base values for the AI pathfinding is set to Z default so there's no conflicts if there is any inheritance when I'm using the base model and I'm doing that for the walls as well so uh, when I'm implementing the walls I may need to make sure that they're all set up for the base settings and stuff so that's basically what I've been doing and then I could cover the uh, pressure plate which is 0 0.5 in hardness and resistance a little bit different than the other one so I basically just duplicated this and uh, updated the actual pressure plate part and set the model to pressure plate. Now the reason why I'm not going with cobblestone and all the other variants is uh, generally Minecraft hasn't really done that so um, and in some cases it doesn't really make too much of a difference so it won't really matter too much that's why I've only been doing the base texture for the um, 
the actual pressure plates and buttons, but all the other models have walls and slabs and stairs, so it gives some variety of building materials. It should be good enough for the color hue and everything like that, for the con color contrast, just to make sure that everything is aligned and stuff. So um, after I did that, I needed to go ahead and duplicate the base basalt one, and I needed to go ahead and go with a cobbled version. So I needed to do this for all of the different models. So stairs, um, slabs and walls so those ones uh, the pressure plate and button again uh, those are only for the base texture so basalt and then I have a folder already set up here for cobbled and I just need to update the textures and make sure generation is not going to generate these blocks because I don't want that to generate so just making sure all the rotation and settings are set up as well as the GUI name so it's unique and disabling all the um, generation properties. And then it was just a matter of going through these ones, giving it a, the new textures and updating the name. And I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do for these ones. So it goes a lot faster once you have the blocks uh, set up and you duplicate them. Uh, it's a nice little um, trick that I've used for a lot of my mods when I need to make a lot of repetitive blocks that are under the same kind of material and everything like that. So if I'm working with stone or whatever, it's a lot easier. So now we're on to mossy cobblestone and I just needed to duplicate all the blocks again. Uh, this time I'm building it off of the cobbled version. Uh, that way I don't need to uh, remember to update the actual um, base block. So it's already been disabled for generation for the cobbled version, so I don't need to do that this time around. I can just basically update the texture and the GUI name and then it should be good to go. So that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm just adding mossy to it and saving it. And then I can basically go ahead and do this for the slabs and stairs as well. And then finally the wall. So it just literally takes a couple seconds to type these parts out. And we might end up coming back and removing these blocks and just calling it like cobble marble or something like that. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the description if you think cobble is a better name or cobbled with an ED at the end. Uh, because it could make the difference. Um, losing two or losing one letter uh, off of the thing might not make a huge difference for visual, but pronunciation might be a little bit better. So outside of that, um, I have the uh, polished version now that I'm working on. I'm now just removing the entire cobbled and mossy part and uh, just adding polish to the end now, or beginning. And that will give me the variance I need for the stairs, and I need to set all that. And then I believe I went in game and tested things out at this point. And there was a whole bunch of stuff that needed to be tested, uh, mainly the generation. But I went ahead and added, organized all this in the creative tab before I hopped in game and just made sure that uh, they're all in order and the re relative. Uh, position for where everything is going to be loaded. So I figure people are probably going to want to use marble more often. Marble is a pretty common material. Um, it's well known. Uh, so is basalt, but um, basalt's a lot darker and it's not as associated with um, wealth. So that's why I went with the marble to have it at the beginning and then probably basalt. And when we add the shale, or s s I think it's, we're going with shale or slate, I don't know, one of the two, um, then what we will go with is um, probably putting that between the two. All right, so the next thing that I needed to do was I was just making sure that the generation settings were a little bit bigger uh, for the ore generation part. This way it will fill in the or generation a little bit better and I needed to go ahead and update all the uh, settings here so basically making sure all the settings are correct for the two generation blocks so in game I could finally check the caves and see how everything is generating um, some of the things that I've noticed is clay is a little bit hard to recognize 
uh, with comparison to the marble. With that being said, we might go back and change the clay texture. I like the way the marble turned out for that particular block, but as you kind of get further down, uh, things like this get a little bit harder to notice the difference. But this could just be a, an issue underground where there's not as much light. And as we go further down into the dimension, you can start to see the level starts generating more um, granite, or pardon me, basalt. And it's pretty fitting because a lot of lava is down here, and basalt's a, basically a volcanic rock, right? So it makes sense to have basalt way down here and marble a little bit higher. I'm not sure what the makeup of marble is, but I know basalt is volcanic, so it's um, really important to have that kind of closer to the lowest part, I think. And then further up, we'll have kind of like shale or um, slate. I can't remember which one we have out here. I think shale is the one that is flaky, so we'll probably end up doing that. So I'm just looking at the textures now so we can kind of get an idea of how everything is looks and uh, textures and tiles because one thing is to have it take a look at it in the actual game and then you know or the editor for the texture and that's that helps a little bit but when you're working with textures and stuff you always want to test it out in the actual game and see what it looks like. Um, because the 3D shading and stuff like that for the game is going to definitely render it a lot different than what it would look like with just a single 2D texture. So it helps knowing what it looks like. Now, I did notice that the fence, the walls didn't actually set up properly, so I needed to go ahead and add them to the fence um, or the wall tag that I have here. So all four of those particular walls needed to be added to this list and now they should work and going back in game I just tweaked it a little bit and placed down some new ones just to update the blocks and sure enough they are in proper order so we can continue looking at the different types of stone and see the different variants so we have the stone button or basalt button and basalt uh, pressure plate you hardly can notice it really on the base basalt which is great um, because usually pressure plates are supposed to be hidden so it really looks good on that particular one uh, you hardly notice the button either which can kind of work to your benefit or not depending on what you're using your materials out of I guess and then we got the cobbled version really like how this one turned out it it's a little bit lighter than the other one, but it blends well on the edges of the basalt uh, base texture. Um, I'm actually really interested on how that worked out because I wasn't intending that. So then we have the mossy texture, which is uh, the one down here. So we have to get these ones. I'm, I think this the shade of this one is a little bit more green, um, probably due to the lack of darkness so it's probably got its own kind of huge system to it it works i mean it's not exactly the same darkness or contrast as the other one but it will work for what we need uh, it's a good mossy cobblestone texture as far as i'm considered and i was just clearing out some area for the other one but uh, i ended up putting the polished version over on the other side just for comparison um, for the base texture because um, it's a different texture and I wanted to see what it would look like uh, next to the base texture and see if the textures kind of matched. But I did try it over here first just to see what it would look like. And it looks pretty good. I mean, it, it's usable. Um, it could use work uh, for sure. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, it does kind of blend with the other textures as well. So that's good. I guess it's just a little bit sharp on the polishing. I wouldn't mind to um, lower the contrast a little bit on it. But overall, uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.